Can you tell me your name? Yes, Jill Swatley. All right, go ahead. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, Honorable Judge Cheryl Matthews, for your time on this case. I know it hasn't been easy on both. Thank you also to Karen McDonald and the entire prosecution team. We appreciate your efforts. Your Honor, my trauma and devastation is hard to put to words, but I have done so in my letter to you. I would also like to mention Justin's brothers, Nathan and Clay. They are now forced to live a life without their beloved middle brother, Justin. My son Justin was the least deserving of his fate. He was the best son that any mother could pray for. Justin was brave, spending his final moments protecting a fellow student. He was hardworking, a lettered athlete, a top honor student. He was kind and inclusive to all. He was full of love and joy. His future was so very bright and full of possibilities. His passing has touched so many family members, friends, students, and the community in general. The ripple effects of both James and Jennifer's failures to act have devastated us all. This tragedy was completely preventable. If only they had done something, Your Honor, anything, to shift the course of events on November 30th, then our four angels would be here today, and Justin would be getting ready to celebrate, celebrate his 20th birthday on the 18th of this month. If only, Your Honor, they had taken their son to get counseling instead of buying him a gun. If only they had secured that gun. <coughs> If only they had spoken up that day in the counseling office. If only they had checked his backpack. If only they had taken him home or taking him to counseling instead of abandoning him at that school. I wouldn't be standing here today. <clears throat> Your Honor, I don't know what's in their hearts, I'm not a mind reader, but I only know the facts of this case. And the facts of this case, both cases, have been deeply disturbing. What I would like to share with the shooter's parents is an example of what love looks like between a mother and her son. This is what Justin wrote to me on one of the last birthdays that we celebrated together. Dear Mom, Words cannot describe how thankful I am for you. You have been nothing but an amazing mother for as long as I can remember. Thank you for being a role model. Thank you for showing me what it's like to never give up. You inspire me to do better each and every day. I love you so much. Love, Justin. It is devastating and heartbreaking that it doesn't appear that either of you cherished or even wanted your son. But I wholeheartedly wanted and cherished mine. You have failed your son and you have failed us all. This failure had deadly consequences that can never be undone, that can never be made right. I am asking your honor for the maximum sentence allowed. Thank you.